Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to part 3 of this AI only tournament for Thrones of Britannia, the new Total War game which came out yesterday although today because I'm recording it on Thursday but yeah whatever and today we have the Gaelics versus the Vikings who's going to win? the armies have been chosen at random um, this is a random, well a, a reasonably random map, I choose a random map but it has to look kind of fair and of course I'm going to play as the AI, I'm just going to sit in the crowning and watch. Well, I'm going to play as the... I'm going to play as one unit, sit in the corner and watch the battle unfold. There. Um, also, I've made a few changes to the series from yesterday. I've added some more soldiers, uh, which w which means I've... Um, it was like normal amount of soldiers where cavalry would be 30 units in um, a cohort and spearmen would be 80. Now pushed it up to 120 for spearmen, 45 for cavalry. Um, I find it interesting that the Gaelics have gone for some warhounds, and the, the Vikings have gone for a catapult. Uh, the Vikings are attacking, um, so it's going to be weird to see them attack with a catapult. It's going to be interesting to see what strategy they can use. And also, um, it turns out I was running it on normal graphics um, for the last two. I've just up, I've pushed the unit graphics up to high. I don't care about the rest of it, I'd rather have extra frames, so, yeah. Let's go. Uh, once it eventually loads. One problem I found with this game is that the loading speed for battles and campaign is a little bit slow. Um, turn time is okay, but yeah, these, these loading times are a bit slow. Of course it's day one. They'll be bringing out optimization, bug fixes, and everything in the future. Um, yeah, but this is what we're stuck with for now. I usually edit it out, but you now I was talking for the first half of it. Might as well talk for the second half. And let's go. So, as so I just put myself all the way over here so that I can't get involved, I've got no influence on the AI. And let's begin. So, the Galaxy are moving forward, and the Vikings are too. Um, oh, both are going on the aggressive. Usually, what I've found is like, one faction just stands there and does nothing and just like waits for them to come forward and then when we get within about two meters away from the enemy they are just charging. So the Vikings are about to fire the catapults um, ooh, but the, and they're already bringing in the, they're already bringing in the cav as well. Yeah, they're, they're really going aggressively at these Vikings are capturing the galaxy a bit of guard and look at that, that's like a human player move, this flanking of the oh, no, they're, I, I thought that was going to be some smart move then when the flank for cavalry from both sides and just like make them break within seconds but no. But actually this is working, this is working probably even better. We're going for the archers instead of silencing them. They've, they've just completely... The Vikings have completely surrounded the Gaelics and the Gaelics so far have zero wins and one loss. Um, and because it's the best two cultures that get pushed forwards into the grand final uh, next week Friday, I think. Um, I do have a schedule on my Discord if you want to check that out. The, the Gaelics really need to get this win, otherwise they're not doing a really standard chance. Um, Vikings getting some friendly fire there with a catapult as well, and also the cavalry has broken, so it's not working as well as it looked like it was at the start. Uh, the cavalry has become under attack, they've managed to silence the actions for a little bit, but you know, all of a sudden the battle's changed around, the, the Gaelics are looking good. The battle started off with um, oh, the exact same numbers. The Vikings do actually have a man count advantage, well, because some of the allied man count includes me, who I'm not actually part of the battle, so yeah, the Vikings do have a slight number advantage, but it's the same number 1665, 1665 people on each side. That's amazing. What's the chances of that? <laughs> well, I guess quite likely if they use the same like, amount of units as cavalry and everything. But, yeah. Artillery is almost out of ammunition and the, the Gaelic cavalry is now pushing on the Viking archers. Who's winning so far? So it's in the Gaelic's favour right, favour right now. They do outnumber them and the balance of power is leaning towards them as well. The Vikings are about to break on this side as well. It's not looking good on this one. We've got a good front over here, um, especially if they can flank around a little bit more. They are, they are trying to like do some flank, but in come the Gaelic cavalry. They're really done have to get a few lucky shots with these archers. 
the Vikings cannot be dealing with this now they're struggling. The Gaelic uh, missile units are, they've dealt with the cavalry now and they're firing back in at the Vikings. Um, you know, some, you know, I thought some Gaelics were retreating then. The Gaelics however have one over here, Vikings are pulling back, they're going to be able to flank around and attack them. Let's see what's going on over here. Um, so it looks like the Viking cav has been chasing down these Gaelic skirmisher cav. It looks like the Vikings are going to cap, um, catch up to them now. There we go, of course. It's looking very heavily in the Gaelic's favour right now. Let's zoom in and see a bit of this fighting. Oh, master out for the Vikings here, they've lost three units here. Um, the Gaelics managed to flank around. The Gaelics might lose this unit here, but if they can break this one first, then I think that's going to be a clear Gaelic fix there. Yeah, balance of powers really in their favour now. They outnumber them almost two to one. Almost 900 Gaelics left, about 550 Vikings left. All but the Gaelics have lost the general, that's going to cause an alpha not to lose here. The Vikings will have extra units to flank around, but no, these two have already broken. Come on, Vikings. Come on, they can still do it, I think. May may maybe not now. If, if these two held a little bit longer and then they managed to flank around, they could have done it, but... I, mean, I think they still can. I think they still can, but... If a... The battle is turning in our favour. Yeah, it's turning in the Gaelic's favour. And apparently I'm there, you can see it, the Vikings are all just breaking now. And so ends the battle, they've got a few archer units left but they're just in a collapse. And there it is, the Gaelics have a win, so, so far overall, um, the English have one win, zero losses, the Welsh have one win, one loss, the Gaelics have one win, one loss, and the Vikings have zero wins and one loss, and they're still of course for Sea Kings to bring in and Battles are going to continue until next week Wednesday like this, I'm going to try and bring out either one or two every single day, there's a schedule on the Discord, where you can also vote for which faction you think is going to win. Um, yes, yeah, so make sure you check out that Discord, because nobody else is, but... <laughs> well, uh, Vikings are still holding out there, we're trying to get those extra few kills to give them a good name. I thought Vikings had it at one point, they had such a smart move with a cavalry early on. It just didn't work. Ah oh, well. Just unlucky for them. The general's still alive though. Might as well speed up now, not much enough. Yeah, and the grand final next week Friday, first and second place go up against each other. There's still a Viking. <laughs> Come on, get him to break. Oh. They're using these cavalry here, but as soon as they move anywhere near them, they break. Come on, two cavalry units versus some Vikings that were about to break. The Vikings won. Come on, there's only like 30 of them left. There we go, it's finally done. Yeah, so let's just check out these statistics. Ooh. These Gaelics got a lot of kills, 169, 196, so that is the best so far. Yeah, that cavalry unit did very well. Um, the best Viking unit was a 99. Um, not the Ice Cream, um, the Axeman, who got 99 kills. So yeah, um, well done Gaelics. They're now, oh, they got another 100 as well with a general. Oh wow, they, they got a lot of kills. Uh, but the Javelins didn't. Actually, the Javelins did do well. Um, these Warhounds were a bit of a weight. Wolfhounds. Um, Catapult got a few kills as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one later today, and goodbye.